So this is a tutorial how to use uh, reminders in a more sophisticated way and use the whole features that are available. So first thing or first one you want to do is choose the title. And so I'm just going to do test. Now we have two options, reminder based on time and reminder based on place. Let's start with the place and go back to the time afterwards. So based on place means or location. So let's say you need to buy something from the store and you want to be reminded when you are in the store, you can choose the location. So you can either choose home or something that already set up or set location. And then you're just going to type in whatever number or places and just choose it. So it makes it easier. Now the other option, of course, after that, you are just going to press the, the check button and that will be set. Now the other option is time and time we have more options. So let's, let's go uh, through the first. So we have the date. So we can choose the, use the date tomorrow or set a different date. I'm just going to open the calendar for you. Now, the other option is the time during the day. So you already have like some defaults morning, afternoon, evening, and all day, which means it's going to start in uh, the beginning of the day and it's going to be set up for, through the whole day or set time. You just can choose the time you want, AM, PM. You can go back and forth to choose. If you made a mistake, you can always go back and forth. Now, the important thing here is the repeat. And this is a really interesting option. There is a lot of options there. And as more you go into it, the more sophisticated your reminder can be and more customizable, of course. So first of all, what you want to do is turn this option on right there. And now we have repeat. So when will that be repeated? So we have a daily. Let's start with the daily. So if you want to be the reminder would be repeated daily for it. Let's say uh, things that you want to do, uh, tasks you need to be, you have to be daily. So we're going to choose how often we want to be. So it doesn't have to be every day. It's going to be every five days or every three days. Now, the other option is for how long we want to, we want it to last. So we have forever. We're never going to stop basically until a date. So we're just going to choose the date right there. So let's say in three months, that's, that's all, that's only when we want to stop this. Let's say if we have certain exercise we want to do, that's a good, that will be good for that. And we also have for a number of events. So let's say you decide I want to exercise for 10 times. We're just going to do 10 times and done. Now the other option is repeat weekly. So that's going to be every week. You can choose how often. So let's say every two weeks and you can choose the day. You can choose only a few days during the week. And again, we also have the forever and it's going to be in all of them. How until what date it's going to be. So let's say you have classes every week, twice a, twice a week, that will be right there. So you have three classes a, and that goes every two weeks, but in those all in three days a week, that's what you're going to do right there. Next option is repeat monthly. So we have how many months? Let's say two months. Let's say it's a, a cleaning. So a thorough clean for your house. Uh, that's a good option for that. You have two options here on the same day each month. So let's say you can do the first, so let's say you want to, you can even do that for paying your credit cards So every first you want to be reminded to pay your, your uh, credit cards or on every day on every last Friday, where well, we have Friday of the month. I'm not sure, but it probably can be changed during, uh, through other options. This is what, why, because we chose Friday. All right. That's we, we chose Friday with the date, but it's going to be the date you chose. So you want to re be repeated. You want to, you want the reminder to be repeated on the same day that you set up. So you can do every middle Thursday or every first Sunday. That's good. That's when you need to go to the date and set the date. You see? This is the last Friday. So let's say you want to do 
Saturday, and we're gonna choose that. Oh, it's in the past. Oh. So let's say we choose that, and we're gonna go back to repeat. You see every last Saturday of the month. And now the last option is repeat yearly. I'm not sure what people will use that so much. Let's say you're gonna do, you can do uh, your birthday, right? So we can do every one year, and you, of course, you choose the date, and you can also have these options. After, of course, you set it up, you can just do a uh, check. I'm not going to do that, but that's pretty much sums uh, sum it up. Thank you very much.